What we know from attachment theory is this, that there are four universal elements of attachment. The first one, we seek out, track, and work to maintain connection with loved ones throughout life. Look at each one of those verbs. We seek it out. So we're looking for it. We're looking for that connection. We track it. So once we find it, we're tracking it. We're watching it. We're observing it in the ebb and flow of life. And we're working to maintain it. So once we have it and we lock eyes on it, we're going to work to ensure that it's still there. That's the first universal element of attachment. Number two, when we're threatened or upset, upset, we reach out to these loved ones for comfort. And this sense of safety allows us to regulate our emotions. It is primal that when we are experiencing fear or anxiety, it is primal that we reach out to loved ones for comfort. And this reaching out and finding them there this secure attachment, this sense of safety in that relationship is what then allows us to regulate our emotions, even if I'm not there in the moment. So for example, if I've had a really rough day, just knowing I can go home to my wife and she will be there and I can share with her helps me regulate in the moment until I get there. Number three, the loss of attachment and or isolation is traumatizing. When we lose an attachment figure, it's a, an experience of trauma. When we are isolated and we do not receive the, the secure attachments that we need, it is traumatizing. And then lastly, the more connected we feel to others, the more safely we feel in exploring the world, the more safety we feel in exploring the world around us. So like I said earlier, there is a, a paradoxical relationship the more securely I attached I am to you, the more freedom and confidence I feel to venture out.